Right everyone, it is Finn here, and welcome to my Premier League Match Week 6 prediction video, where of course we'll be discussing every single game coming your way this Premier League Match Weekend. And of course, as usual, Premier League Match Week 6 is going to be another insane one, because we've got incredible fixtures such as Manchester City versus Chelsea, the two Champions League finalists from last season, how will Thomas Tuchel face against Pep Guardiola once more? We've also got fixtures like Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspurs, will Harry Kane finally start hitting the mark? We've also got games like West Ham versus Leeds. Manchester United versus Aston Villa and a whole bunch of other really fantastic games that you will not want to miss that of course we'll be discussing all of those games in today's video as I said Premier League match week 6 it is going to be an absolutely fantastic one to watch and a pretty tricky one to predict but you know what of course once again that won't stop me as usual but before jumping into my predictions quickly looking at how last week's predictions went once again not the best week for me I got five out of my 10 predictions right I did get five predictions wrong but I'm not too upset with myself lots of the predictions definitely I don't feel like a lot of people would have predicted such as Leeds United versus Newcastle United that was a draw I mean I'm not surprised it was a draw but I did predict Leeds United to win that Wolves versus Brentford Brentford still only one game unbeaten uh, this Premier League season that is absolutely fantastic beating Wolves 2-0 did not see that one coming obviously the likes of Manchester City drew with Southampton we have uh, Aston Villa who beat Everton 3-0 and of course Brighton versus Leicester Brighton beat Leicester those were the five games I did get wrong but you know it's on the bright side five games I got right I did get two exact predictions being Liverpool beating Crystal Palace 3-0 and Arsenal beating Burnley 1-0 so you know what, at the end of the day not the worst match week but let's hope Premier League match week six goes a lot better better. So the first game we will be discussing for this match week is going to be the likes of Leeds United versus West Ham. Now looking at these two teams, Leeds United obviously uh, won their FA Cup game or their Carabao Cup game versus Fulham. Daniel James finally a father now, which is weird. I mean, he's so young and yet he's a father. I mean, let's just hope for the missus' sake that in that situation, he's not the fastest man alive. But of course, a man with rapid pace. Can Leeds United finally pick up a win this season? Can they do it versus West Ham, I'm not sure in my opinion. I have gone for West Ham United with the win. I've gone for a 2-1 win because looking at West Ham United, even without their best players on the pitch, they've just been fantastic this season. Without Antonio, they've still got a lot of goal threats. Yermolenko looks fantastic. Now, yes, West Ham United did lose their previous game to Manchester United. They have lost a lot of points as of late, but they're just so fantastic. The amount of pressure they put other teams in, I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. I think West Ham United with their new midfielder, Kroll, he is looking fantastic. I I think when going into football you always say I think you should check that you have enough squad depth in your team and then you'll perform well. I think West Ham United misunderstood that and they took it as have Czech Republic team players in your uh, squad and you'll do a lot better. That seems to be what they're doing but their Czech players are doing really really well with the likes of Kroll, Suchek, Sufal. West Ham United are just looking really really strong. As I said the attacking intensity they had versus Manchester United defensively not bad whatsoever. I thought Kurt Zuma was absolutely brilliant versus Leeds United. The best to team overall I do expect them to get the win as I said Leeds United a draw versus Newcastle in their previous game I do feel like they are really good up front maybe they could be a bit more clinical they have to be a bit more clinical defensively still a bit woeful in my opinion definitely have to sort out problems but in a game like this I expect West Ham United to win and I do think the man to watch the player to watch is going to be the likes of Mikel Antonio I think he'll return to the squad I think he'll score a goal he's been brilliant this season and yeah as I said going to be the player to watch we've We've also got Everton versus Norwich coming to you this Premier League match weekend and Everton, you are a weird one. When I initially wrote down my prediction for this game, I wrote down 3-0 to Everton. Then they lost 3-0 to Aston Villa somehow. I kind of knocked it down to a 2-0 win. But then they lost to Queen's Park Rangers in the Carabao Cup. So you know what? I'm just going to go for a 1-0 win. If even. I don't know. Everton are the weirdest team in the world. I mean, they look from time to time like they could beat anyone. But to lose to Queen Park Rangers in the Carabao Cup, that is just pathetic. They'll be looking forward to getting Culvert Lewis back sometime soon unfortunately that won't be until next month so versus Norwich I don't know I feel like Norwich could surprise them saying that though they did end up losing 3-1 to Watford so I don't have a lot of faith in Norwich either but at the end of the day I feel like Everton should win this one I think Rafa Benitez would be worried if a different result came out of it I am going to give Everton the win I'm not super confident in them and in terms of a player to watch Andros Townsend he has been magnificent
magnificent for Everton so far. Genuinely, at this rate, he could be Everton's player of the season. As I said, Everton, not great in the Carabao Cup. For the Toffees, that'll be a tough one to chew, but versus Norwich, I expect you to get the win. Jumping into the next game, let's go to a bigger game. Let's talk about Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Now, of course, Manchester United, as I said, what a dramatic game versus West Ham, that one uh, win that they ended up getting. I mean, they got the winner in the 89th minute. Jesse Lingard versus his old team. They concede a penalty in the 93rd minute and they end up saving it. I mean, it was just a dramatic, fantastic game to watch that I think for a neutral must have been so amazing to watch. Manchester United, though, obviously knocked out the Carabao Cup a few days later by West Ham United. Once again, Manchester United is just so unpredictable. Where if you look at Aston Villa, they've had problems in their midfield with teams cutting through it so easily so far this season. But in their previous game, they beat Everton 3-0. I think both of these teams are so unpredictable. It will be a close game, but I think Manchester United are going to scrape it with a 2-1 win. Now that we're back in the Premier League, United should start Cristiano Ronaldo. I really hope so. Once again, he's just been scoring goals for fun since he's arrived, and I think he'll do so versus Aston Villa. I think United will end up getting the win. I think it will be a 2-1 win, and I think the player to watch, look, I'd love to say good old David De Gea, the GOAT himself, who truly reminded us why many years ago people thought he was the best goalkeeper in the world. Still has to regain that status eventually, which by the way guys, if you haven't seen, I recently posted a video where I ranked every single Premier League goalkeeper from 1st to 20th place. It was a tricky video to make, definitely upset people. If you do want to catch that video, click on the I thingy up above. But in a game like this, I expect United to win and I do think the player to watch will be Cristiano Ronaldo. But I don't think Aston Villa are going to make it easy whatsoever. Moving on to the next game, let's talk about Leicester City versus Burnley. Now Leicester City, what are you guys doing? You guys just keep on making defensive mistake after defensive mistake. Yes, you weren't absolutely dreadful in the Carabao Cup, but in your previous Premier League game, you lost to Brighton. What are you guys doing? You guys just seem to be bottling it early this season, getting rid of your champions league's place. I mean, for years, Leicester City have been improving and improving, but they haven't had the greatest start this season. But versus Burnley, I expect them to get the win. I've gone for a 2-0 win for Leicester City because looking at Burnley, still not quite there attacking-wise. Defensively, yes, they are solid, but I think they do need to start scoring more goals, which in the Carabao Cup, they beat Rochdale 4-1 with Jay Rodriguez scoring. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Burnley scoring four goals in one game, I don't think Burnley fans knew that their team could do that. I mean, it must be some sort of superpower that been unlocked. It's like getting your first erection. You're like, okay, with great power comes great responsibility. This is very, uh, very exciting. But can you do it again? That is the big question. And versus Leicester, don't think Burnley will do it again. I expect Leicester to get the win. They need to pick up on form. And my player to watch, I'm probably going to go for the likes of Jamie Vardy. As I said, in terms of team performances and just being in form in general, not a lot of players I can pick, but Jamie Vardy, normally reliable. Moving on, let's talk about the biggest game. This Premier League match week will probably be biggest with the likes of Chelsea versus Manchester City. Now, interestingly enough, Chelsea have beaten Manchester City in the last three meetings in the Premier League. That is huge. The Premier League champions, obviously, versus the Ch uh, Champions League champions. It is always going to be a tough rivalry between these two teams. And will Chelsea make it four wins in a row in the Premier League? I think so. I think Chelsea are going to grab a 2-1 win in their previous game. They beat Tottenham Hotspurs. 3-0 with three defensive players scoring. Chelsea are just looking so strong at the moment. Romelu Lukaku will be my player to watch. Once again, been scoring for fun. He looks so deadly. Chelsea as a team, just defensively, midfield-wise, attacking-wise, every single element on their pitch, they are looking excellent. Even when they don't have Mendy on the pitch, Kepa Reza Balaga seems to be redeeming himself. Where if you look at Manchester City, once again, a team that scores goals for fun. I mean, they've probably scored more goals than any other English team throughout the four or five top flights of English football. They are looking fantastic. Once again, I feel like they do need a proper striker versus Southampton, that 0-0 draw. I do feel like, yes, they had the right attacking intensity, but Southampton were just defensively strong. Take nothing away from them. But versus Chelsea, I just think Tuchel is going to get the better of Pep Guardiola. Will be a 2-1 win, I think. Going to be a very close game. And as I said, Lukaku to be my player to watch. Moving on to the next game, let's talk about the likes of Watford versus Newcastle. And I 
I am going to give Newcastle United the win. Finally, I'm giving Newcastle United a win. Looking at these two teams, I feel like there could be a lot of goals in it. Both teams not necessarily defensively strong whatsoever, but on the attacking front, I feel like they can both create. As I said multiple times, I think Saar and Hernandez look really good for Watford. St. Maximum looks so deadly for Newcastle United. I mean, genuinely might be one of the best players in the league outside of the traditional top six teams, if you want to put it like that. He's such a deadly player. He will be my player to watch the way he's been creating his numbers this season. He looks like he could really outshine his former self from the last two, three seasons. I think his numbers will be good this season. I think he'll play a huge role in Newcastle United beating Watford. As I said, I've just seen a lot from Newcastle this season, and I think this is where it will all fall into place, if you want to put it like that. And I think it will be a high-scoring game, a 3-2 win to Newcastle United. Don't think lots of people expect that, but you know what? I'm going to be a tiny bit ambitious with a game like this. Next up, we've got the likes of Brentford versus Liverpool. Now, Brentford's one of those teams you don't want to give a loss. They've just been so fantastic this season. Only one loss in the Premier League. They've been unbeatable, almost, except for that one game. But a 2-0 win versus Wolves. Definitely didn't see that one coming. I mean, the bees really stung the Wolves. It's like one of those pictures you see of a dog that's been a bit inquisitive about a bee. Gets stung and its nose gets all puffy and all cute. Not necessarily the situation Wolves wanted to be in. But do I think Brentford, do I think they could sting Liverpool? Do I think that they could get the better of Liverpool? Unfortunately not. On their day, Liverpool still one of the best teams in the league. Definitely regarded as a top four team this season. Many people think they could win the league. Got a 3-0 win versus Crystal Palace. At the end of the day, going to have to give Liverpool a win. And I'm going to put it down as another 3-0 result. I don't want to be too harsh to Brentford. I don't want to say it's going to be 4-0 or 5-0. But it could be. We see how, or we have seen, how Liverpool take advantage of teams like this. It could be a domination. I'm just going to put it down as a 3-0. And once again, Mo Salah, a criminally, a criminally underrated player. I mean, he scores so often, I think people just forget about him. He's just that good. I mean, he always guarantees a goal almost. And I think people just say, you know, what? it's Salah. It happens. We're used to it at this point. So, as I said, Liverpool to beat Brentford. Moving on to the next game, we've got Southampton versus Wolves. Now, I'm really tempted to give Southampton the win. As I said in their previous game, they drew to Manchester City. I think there are about four or five draws in a row at this moment in the Premier League. They've won themselves some valuable points. They do need to start picking up wins. Do I think they'll get one versus Wolves? I think it is very, very possible. Wolves at this stage in time, they haven't been promising in the Premier League. Attacking-wise, I feel like they create enough chances, but not nearly clinical enough. Defensively, they've got way too many gaps at the back, and that's why Brentford ended up beating them. In terms of their defense, they were just too slow. They leave too many gaps. They allow the attack to get into pockets at the back, and that could very much happen versus Southampton. So in terms of the results, Am I going to give Southampton the win? I just feel like this is where Wolves, once again, the team is going to pick it up. I feel like they are creating enough chances. They just need to be more clinical. And I think versus Southampton, they should get the win. As I said, it could go either way. It could very much be a draw. And in terms of my player to watch, I'm going to go for the likes of Nelson Semedo. Once again, has gotten a decent amount of crosses into the box so far this season. And I think it will be crucial in a game like this. I am going to say Wolves should beat Southampton 1-0. But it definitely could go either the way. Next up, we've got the likes of Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Guys, Brighton are currently in the top four. They've won four out of their first five games this season. What has happened? I mean, talk about bright. Their light has just turned on. They're looking really good up front. Midfield-wise, defensively, Brighton can be so proud of themselves. Previous game, they beat Leicester City. I think Brighton could do really well this season. Could they break into the top 10 if they keep playing like this? Yes, they definitely could do that. Versus Crystal Palace, it is going to be a tricky one because Crystal Palace have also been good this season. Yes, maybe they haven't gotten as many points as Brighton. But defensively, I think they've picked up on some aspects of the game. Midfield-wise, with the likes of Gallagher in the midfield, they've done really well. Their new striker, Eduard, I mean, who helped Crystal Palace beat Spurs 3-0. I think Crystal Palace could be a threat to deal with as well. I put both of these two teams on very similar playing field. I don't want to predict a draw, although I should predict more draws in terms of my predictions because that has let me down. But I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win. I think it's going to be one of the few teams so far to get a win from Brighton. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 prediction. I think both teams are going to score. And in terms of my player to watch, I'm probably going to go for the likes of Gallagher in the midfield. As I said, Eduard looks like a good striker. But Gallagher...
bigger, the chances he creates, the kind of positions he gets into. I mean, he is definitely one to watch. He is looking fantastic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, takes us to our final game this match week. It is going to be a London derby with the likes of Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspurs. Now, obviously, Arsenal, their last two games, only two games they've won so far this season. I've guessed both of their wins. Correct. I've predicted both of them exactly correct with a 1-0 win versus Norwich and a 1-0 win versus Burnley. So, you know what? Maybe that's a good omen. Maybe I'll get something correct in this game. Do I think Arsenal will win versus Tottenham? Now, looking at Arsenal, once again, just not at the levels they need to be. Defensively, yes, they haven't looked dreadful in their previous games. They seem to be creating enough chances. Lots of their better players are returning from injuries and from sickness. Looking at Tottenham Hotspurs, once again, maybe not getting the result from time to time that you'd expect. They recently lost 3-0 versus Chelsea, which just show you how far they've fallen over the years. Harry Kane, two games ago versus Crystal Palace, didn't get a single touch within the box. Once again, Tottenham Hotspurs are in trouble. And of course, a fixture like this, unlike last season, they don't have the legendary goats of the game himself. Lamella to score a Rabona kick but I still think it will be an entertaining game and I'm going to go for Spurs I'm, I think Spurs are going to get a 2-1 result we've seen some fantastic moments from Spurs this season obviously beating Manchester City in the opening game of the season I think Spurs could turn things around in a game like this I think Nuno Santo is a fantastic manager and in terms of the player to watch going to be a shocker but I'm going to go for England's captain Harry Kane hasn't started to hit the score sheet so far this season but I think he's going to get two goals in a game like this I think the amount of pride and just the kind of competition in a fixture like this between the rivalry between these two teams I think Harry Kane is going to kick in and score two goals I know lots of people are saying that Harry Kane has started off slow this season but people seem to forget that Harry Kane has always started the season off slow and I think he's going to pick it up from this point I think he's going to score two goals it's going to be a very very tight contest between these two but as I said defensively I've seen just too many errors from Arsenal in my opinion and of course uh, once again I think it's going to be an exciting one but that ladies and gentlemen will, will be it for my predictions for Premier League match week six as I said there are fantastic games that we have to run through and definitely a lot of competitive games and I, I'm not that confident that I'll get a lot of predictions right for match week six I hope it's better than match week five as I said there are a lot of really tough competitions that it could genuinely go either way there are 50 50 splits obviously Man City versus Chelsea, Spurs versus Arsenal, a bunch of other really good ones. It's going to be a game to, uh, game week to remember. I can definitely, definitely promise you that. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have enjoyed it, once again, which by the way, you guys seem to be enjoying my Premier League match week predictions, do make sure to subscribe down below to not miss content like this in the future. I would love to hit 1,700 subscribers within the next two weeks. If that is possible, then I would really appreciate that. Along with you hitting the like button down below, can we get this video to 20 likes i'd appreciate it but guys premier league match week six it is going to be another banger of a match week thank you so much for watching this has been finn fy double n cheers